Hey guys, welcome back to RC Helicheck UK. Today we are going to be looking at a weight reduction. Oh look, I'm a silhouette. There we go. Yeah, we are looking at weight reduction. After completing the Harrier model, I have decided that it is too heavy. Uh, under their specifications and recommendations, there is no way in hell that I am going to be able to get this model off the ground with all this weight inside it. I have scrutinized, scrutinized, scrutinized their videos and I've noticed in all the VTOL shots that they show of their Harrier, like I mentioned the other day, they've got no tail plane, they've got no fin, you know, they've got no undercarriage, it's just a hoofing great big gap. Yeah, they've they've left stuff off theirs, and I think they've done that just to prove the concept that they can get it to fly. But I think that they've done the same as what I've done, built it and realised, oh it don't fly because it's too heavy, and that's why they've not followed on with it. Yes, they've had it success with other aircraft, but this one, no. So my guess is I am going to have to reduce the weight of this as much as I possibly can. New fan arrived. Remember me telling you that this one decided to go up fast and it just like, well, the fan just came apart on me basically. It just screwed just undone and it made a horrible noise. New fan. Um, so I'm going to look at sorting that out. We're going to weigh this in a second and weigh the wing on top of it. I want to see what the weight is and I want to see... I think I'm working with about 15, no, five, six, I reckon 700 grams is the total weight for the batteries. They're saying it needs to be below 300 grams, uh, three, uh, 3,000 uh, grams, I'll get it right in a minute, three kilos, it needs to be below three kilos, no more than three kilos. So that's a nine impossibility with all this equipment in here. So today I'm going to be weighing it and then I'm going to remove what I can that uh, I don't need uh, to see how much weight I can actually lose and then I'm going to test it with these two batteries that are on charge here the crap batteries but hopefully they'll be enough for me to provide the power that I need to see if it lifts with the right weight reduction if it does then I know the batteries that I'm going to get for it will lift it off anyway let me just put you down on the deck and we'll stick it on the scales and I'll show you how much it weighs at the moment too Right, here we go, sat on the scales, let's see if you can read that. We are in at 2,000, oh, hang on, I've just nudged it. 2,654 grams. That basically means that, as it is, the weight of the batteries that I can put it can only come to 400 grams. Not going to happen. The 5S, sorry, the 6S is going to be, on average, I'd say probably about 5, 7, 507 grams something like that i know that this one that's going to go in here when i get it is only 205 grams but the one that goes in there like i say it is about five six hundred grams so i'm looking at 800 grams in weight so that needs to have in theory to be three kilos or under at least 400 grams less in weight for me to get it off the deck so let's see now what i'm looking at removing Non-essential items are the undercarriage, they can come off. The main undercarriage, they can come off. The flap servos, they can come out. The nose wheel servo, that can come out as well. Uh, that's about it at the minute. Now, all of that, there's no way that's going to equate to 400 grams, but we'll see. Um, I think a lot of weight is in the electronic speed controller and the Gecko Speedo. Um, I'm going to see if I can reduce that somehow as well because the cables on that, on that are pretty thick. Now ideally I need the cables to be pretty thick from the ESC to the fan. Uh, I might be able to reduce the gauge of the cables that are going from the, um, from the battery to the electronic speed controller. I might be able to lose a bit of weight there. I'm also looking to see if I can remove the casing from the electronic speed controller as well. Sorry, battery died there. Uh, yeah, I'm also looking at removing the casing if I can from the electronic speed controller because uh, I don't know how much it's going to weigh, but I, I reckon I might be able to lose about 10 grams there as well. So I'm going to remove all that lot uh, off camera and then we'll come back and we'll weigh what I've removed and then we'll have another look at the weight of the aircraft as it is when it's done. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Right guys, I've stripped the wing, that's the first thing I've stripped. Wing total weight, before I stripped it out, was 687 grams. I have removed the undercarriage 
from there, the flap servos and the linkages, the extension leads for the retracts and for the servos for the flaps as well. And we have reduced 132 grams in weight from there. So from 400 grams that I wanted to lose, we've already lost 132 grams just by taking those few things out there. So let me just get the wing onto the scales. All right, with the wing now on the scales, it is reading 555 grams. So 687 grams down to 555 grams. So that's by removing 132 grams in weight. So that's a start. Right, next I'm gonna go onto the fuselage and see how much I can lose from there. Before, we are looking at 1,000, move there for the rest of the 1,967 grams, nearly two kilos in the fuselage alone. So off camera, I'm gonna reduce what I don't need and we'll come back and see how much it weighs then and how much I've lost. Right guys, I've took everything out of the fuselage that I can to reduce weight. And we have lost this car wreck of crap in here. Is everything that I've took out. And we have lost 258 grams by doing so. Uh, uh, so let me just put the fuselage on. Hang on a second. Right, with the fuselage back on after everything has been removed, we are down from 1,968 to 1,707 grams. So that with the wing was 555. That's was 1707 That's 2262 grams, which is um, which is a lot less. Which is a lot less. We've lost 350, 60, 300, 390 grams. <laughs> I've lost 390 grams by doing that. I wanted to lose 400. So, in theory, <laughs> we're under three kilos. So this should lift off now. What do you reckon? I've got a bit of soldering to do because I cut the cable off the electronic speed controller that is fed by the battery. I want to replace it with some thinner cables. So I reckon we're probably going to add another 20 grams onto that. So I reckon 2,280 grams for argument's sake, this is going to weigh. And the batteries, the ones that I'm going to be actually using, are only 700, and gra 700 grams in total between them. The one that was powering the main fan, which is the one that they recommend, which I've found, okay, is only 500 grams, give or take 5 grams. And the one in the nose is only 200 grams, that's 700 grams. We're under 3 kilos, guys. We're going to be under 3 kilos. So... Let me solder up this lead uh, to go onto the extension lead and then I'll put the wing on. Let's, let's, let's give it a try. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if we can get this thing to hover. <laughs> right, we have the <laughs> we have the weight loss. Okay. Not only on the plane but on me because of the stress. Anywho, we have lost nearly 400 grams with all that crap next to those spanners there not including the lid and we are using heavier batteries than what i will be using we are at 3113 grams okay now that means that we are about 150 160 grams over the original weight but that battery nearly weighs 600 grams and the one that i'm going to be using only weighs 500 and that battery weighs 271 grams and the one that i'm using only weighs 205 give or take five grams either way so we got we're under a kilo we are under a kilo so the moment of truth has come i shall take the harrier sorry I'll take the camera outside mount it outside and then we'll take it out because it's getting late and but the wind's calmed down a bit so i'm just going to try and just go and see it. I'm, let's see what happens
Right, these batteries are dumping already. I'll just give it a quick burst and they're already dumping. This is crap. Try another battery. Right, I've lost only 400 grams of weight and it still doesn't want to go off the deck. But, but I think it's because of these crap batteries that I'm using. They're not producing enough power, they're all batteries, so they're dumping. That first one that I just used, this one, get off. That one there, I mean, that's that's really old. I don't even know why I thought about that. It ain't even the same milliamp as that, I mean it's only 2,265 milliamps whereas the one I was testing with yesterday was four, no, 3,700 uh, the oh god what's it called the Octo that I'm using, that ain't a bad battery so it's a heavier battery like I said but I don't know maybe it's because they're crap and they're dumping they're not getting to their full potential um, but I'm giving them a boost now on the charger then I'll try it again and if it still don't get off the deck even with those I, think I'm, I'm, I don't think I've got much choice but to wait until I get the new ones which are a lot lighter but we'll see, let's see what happens when I charge the batteries up right guys we've got two fully charged batteries now for the sake of this working great, if it doesn't then I've got a feeling I know what it is Basically, these guys that designed this recommend that you use high voltage batteries, um, lipo high voltage. These are obviously aren't high voltage, and I think that's the only thing I can put it down to. That's the only thing that's causing this not to lift, is the batteries are just not powerful enough. <clears throat> but we'll give it a go with uh, two freshly charged batteries and see what happens. If it lifts, then great. If it doesn't, then we're just gonna have to wait until I get the high voltage ones. So, let's arm. Okay, we're armed, let's see what it does. fan again I didn't put the new fan in because I was hoping to be able to test it without it being done but ay, 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 ay. it was starting to get a little lighter but that fan just went nope don't want to know oh well it just goes to show these things are sent to test us um, and by the looks of it it's we need those high voltage batteries so the next video I do on this, it may be a few weeks, I'll have the high voltage batteries in it and I'll have changed that crap fan at the back as well with the new one. Uh, thanks for watching guys, sorry to be disappointing you and for it not to be flying but uh, I just thought while I did these changes and the weight reduction we may have had to lift off but again proven wrong but I literally think it is down to the power from the batteries. The ones that I'm using are just not good enough. I need these high voltage ones. I think once I've got them, then, then we're going to be good to go. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Click the like button, subscribe, all the usual malarkey. And I'll see you very soon with the next video. Cheers, guys. <laughs>